welcome to the project demonstration of camshaft mechanism based ventilator so here we are going to control the speed of the dc motor which was attached to the camshaft mechanism in this project so you can see that so we are using 10 rpm johnson dc motor so in this one we can see the gearbox of attached to this uh, base dc motor the base dc motor rpm is to sorry uh, 18000 rpm uh, dc motor rotation and that was uh, stepped down to the 10 rpm dc motor the gear reduction is 18000 to 10 rpm so that we can get around 25 kg of torque after this gearbox uh, gear reduction and which is operated on voltage is 12 volts input so the 12 volts dc is input from this wires and uh, along with the uh, pwm signal to control the speed of this dc motor so that we can control the pressure also parallelly so here the output is from this ventilator air balloon to this mask and uh, in the white color pipe is the air outlet which was uh, breath uh, outlet from the mouth and the breath inlet uh, in, uh, inhale will be given oxygen from this pipe and so called pressure continuously monitored by this pressure sensor we are using here and which was attached to the Arduino board and here we are using the another two sensors to monitor the three health related parameters in that uh, one is a max 30100 sensor which will get the heart rate and SpO2 and next temperature sensor from thermistor these three parameters continuously monitoring on the 16 by 2 LCD screen and also we are going to set the pressure means uh, the speed of this DC motor to control the pressure on this uh, ventilator balloon that will be done with the help of this potentiometer increase and decrease so when we set this input Arduino you know, will, con uh, will control the speed of this DC motor with the help of this L298 motor driver all the direction was set only the speed will be controlled through this L298 motor driver and coming to the interfacing connections we have interfaced this max 30100 as well as a temperature sensor h a0 for this temperature sensor a4 a5 for this max 30100 and a2 a3 for that pressure sensor and a1 for this set uh, uh, speed set for this potentiometer and the lcd is connected to the pin number a22 pin number sorry pin number 22 pin number 7 and 10th uh, pin is connected to the PWM output for this L298 motor driver and uh, this board is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules along with to the Arduino Uno board so mainly in our project the input modules are like max 30100 and temperature sensor and potentiometer as the input output modules are like LCD screen as well as or L298 motor driver is the output and the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp transformer which will take 230 volts AC input and provide us the 12 volts AC output right and that 12 volts AC will be converted into the 12 volts pure DC with the help of this regulator power supply section there we can see that the black color is a rectifier that is KBL10 and this one is the capacitor which will take the pulsating DC which is coming from this KBL10 rectifier IC and provide as a constant DC and when we provide that constant DC to the L298H motor driver it will provide as the 5 volts DC output and that will be distributed throughout the modules through this breadboard so when we on the kit it will start reading input from the input modules and displaying the outputs right now we can see as of now we set the pascal is low so it will require minimum of 170 to controller we can see that right so i'm increasing the speed now full speed right at the full speed so I'm decreasing now so stop with it required minimum of voltage for that right. okay and now so make it zero first and let us go with the input from the sensor just place the finger as I shown 
in this manner so the readings will be stabilized right so once you get the proper readings you will get the proper heart rate and spo2 details directly let us place in this manner right when you get the spo2 value then only it is it will be considered as a, like a proper values of your health related parameters Now let us see the diaphragm also while air pumping we can see the diaphragm so as you can see that the blue color is opening mouth and closing all the eyes so when it's pumping the air you can see that the blue color is opening the mouth and closing the mouth right 